and we're going to go and you know I, I say cons here I have it listed as cons and none of these are really cons they're really more of uh, trade-offs you know you're, you're just trading off one thing for another um, and as far as TIG is concerned you know you're you're kind of trading off some of the ease and quickness of getting started as you do with a MIG uh, you know it requires gas you're not going to be able to TIG without gas um, depending on what kind of material you're using you, you need to have the various uh, welding rods um, or filler rods you, the different tungstens all these different things and I'm not going to go into what all these things are there's just a lot more things you need to consider you know uh, as far as the process itself, it's not like a MIG where you have a, a trigger that you pull. Uh, there, you're going to have to use both of your hands at the same time, as well as your foot, because you're have to going to you're going to control everything with a, a pedal. So it's definitely more of an exacting type of, of process, but the end result is well well worth it. Um, it's not as fast as MIG. Um, you know, a lot of people, really good TIG welders, can TIG really really fast, um, but there's a reason why in those commercials, the car commercials, where you see the factories and they have all those computer arms and they're all MIG welding, there's a reason they're MIG welding. It's because it's the fastest way to weld. Now, not, not that I'm downing TIG here, but TIG is excellent. But if you're doing any kind of production work and, or anything you want to get done quickly, MIG is definitely the way you're going to want to go. Now, with TIG, another the, probably the, the main downside, I would say, as far as a... Uh, a garage or a weekend warrior is just the cost involved. It, it you know, a, a MIG unit, you can get a brand new MIG unit, very, 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 very basic unit for around 350 400 bucks. Now, a TIG, you're not even going to touch one. You're not even going to look at one for $400. Um, not a brand new one, anyway. You can f always shop for deals, but they just cost a lot more, anywhere from seven to a, 700 to 1000 bucks. Uh, to get you know completely set up, then you also have to have your gas, which is going to involve you going to um, a gas company, and you know you're going to have to get a cylinder, whether it's renting a cylinder or buying a cylinder of gas, um, and then there's all the other different elements you need as far as the filler rods and whatever, whatever type of material you're using, you're going to need uh, the welding materials for that material. So there's just a lot more involved. Um, it's it's definitely uh, worth the effort I will definitely tell you that um, it's just what what it is that you're ready for these are so I, I've kinda given you the two uh, ups and downs of both units I know it probably sounds like I'm, I'm more up on the uh, the MIG welding and generally I am because 99 percent of the the stuff that I do is from is with MIG um, and that's just simply because uh, TIG takes a lot longer and there's a lot more involved and for me I'm usually about speed I mean I get paid for being fast and so usually I'm up for MIG, and usually for beginners I'm always going to say MIG, uh, unless you just really, really want to learn TIG. So that is it. Um, kind of covered everything I wanted to cover here. This is the first episode I'm doing live on Ustream. I hope it goes well. Um, let me know what you think, and I will set up a time. We're going to do this weekly, I think. Um, pretty sure we're doing it weekly, just like the podcast. Um, I haven't quite set a date and time yet. I'm still working on that. What's going to be the best? Um, but if you have any other questions or anything like that, you can email me directly at weldingtips at theathomewelder.com. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, and we're on Facebook. Twitter is twitter.com forward slash homewelder, and there's a Facebook fan page. Just go into Facebook and type in the at home welder. You'll find us. And of course, if you want to learn how to MIG weld today, uh, you can go to the ethomewelder.com and sign up for the free MIG Welding 101 video course. I'll show you really quick uh, the five main techniques that you need to, to get welding today, get MIG welding today. Um, everything else is going to build off those five techniques, so they're the most important ones you need to know. And any sort of, we have tons of free videos, articles, resources, anything else you want to know about welding, MIG welding, supplies, whatever. It's all on there. Uh, so please go visit the at home .com right now and check it out and let me know what you think and I will see you next week and we are going to uh, set up a different time and everything and I will let you know so thanks for tuning in guys I'll see you later